Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Franken and my team Cross Nation. And for today's video, we are pretty much doing our usual regular PvP video. Although this time, uh, we are switching up. I finally got my mic in the mail. And I know quite a few of you have been asking for some commentary to my PvP videos. Uh, which I kind of thought was pretty pretty interesting idea and I thought like you know why not like it'd be nice to do as well as like it would help explain uh, a lot of my thought processes and such behind why I do certain things in the video because um, I know a lot of times when you're watching the video uh, for those of you that do watch it's it's just kind of a lot of things are just pretty much like oh they look like they just you know lose or fail or win and stuff like that and there's not like it's kind of hard to decipher what exactly is going through my head when i'm actually like doing these things as well as the fact that i also cut out uh the in between stuff so like rearranging my keyblades and such so a lot of the thought process could be taken out of the uh equation so i'm hoping this will help add to the experience a little bit as to why I'm doing certain things. So from here, we're gonna put Starlet here. Um, we're actually gonna put Fairy Star second just because of the same concept of what I was saying for defenders. Uh, so that way it can trigger the Asuna and make him get rid of it, as well as have my boosters carry over into the third round as well. Uh, my Starlight the first, my my strongest Keyblade, my Stroke of Midnight second strongest, and Fairy Stars is third strongest. Uh, I don't really ever expect my Fairy Stars to actually win games, although it can, uh, but that is primarily because of the fact that the higher up that you get in the rankings, the less likely that your weakest Keyblade is actually going to win games. Uh, that's just how it is. Uh, if your weakest Keyblade can't beat your opponent's second strongest Keyblade, um, then that's kind of the theory, that's kind of like the reason why uh, a lot of people resort to turtling including including myself because it's just not worth having a weak a super weak keyblade uh, if it's just always going to be beaten in which case you might as well just have like turtling and such to be able to at least help out your other rounds and other keyblades and such so that's the logic behind that i know there's been some comments about that in the comment section but without further ado let's actually get started in the uh, <laughs> pvp battles themselves so, all right, what do we got here? We got D, D oh, I see, D, disaster, dick. I'm, I don't know, disaster, whatever. I'm gonna fight you, okay? Just because you're 203. Um, his strength isn't that bad too, he's about 20. That's a, that's, that seems about what mine will probably be. All right, here we go. I hate fighting people against. <laughs> I hate fighting against people who have defense boost five. Uh, pretty much, some of the strategies that I've been noticing recently is that there's there's pretty much like three minor strategies that are going on uh, in terms of skills and such for uh, keyblade setups and such, which is where like I would notice that you can either use uh, attack skills with uh, no, no, my bad, my bad. You can either use tr uh, status ailments with a DB max skill, okay? Or uh, you can use double DB, ma uh, DB skills, one's a max and one's a non-max, kind of like what the opponent is doing. Uh, or you can use just a max and pure uh, damage, okay? That's pretty much like the three like sub strategies that I've been noticing recently. Uh, I personally like status ailments just because, like, it's just more strategic in that aspect. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more fun for me. Uh, I know not everybody likes it, not everybody can or understands how to do it properly, and that's just up to the individual themselves. I should also probably add that it's, uh, it's also partially because of the fact that I use turtling too. Um, that I choose to use status ailments uh, because, like I mentioned before, turtling is only really effective, at least right now, uh, if you're using it with status ailments. So that's also partially another reason why I use status ailments. Um, another part of the reason why I do enjoy using status ailments is because of the fact that, like, I just, I just, I don't know. 
I love being a little bit of a troll sometimes. Uh, and I just love imagining the opponent's expression when they realize that their medals just get skipped. <laughs> probably, probably a little evil of me, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. To me, that's what makes the game partially fun. That's part of the reason why I like doing PvP and stuff is figuring out stuff like this. All right, so we're actually going to fight Versa over here, who is at a uh, 16, like, ish area, uh, which is actually weaker than what I have. So there, chances are I might be able to beat them pretty easily. Uh, and they're at 236 place. So we're going to go ahead and fight them first over here. All right, Versa, let's see what you got. Fierce Charge Beast. Interesting title. I still need to change my title. I keep forgetting to do so. I've been having known as number 12 top 100 for like the longest time. And it like, <laughs> I don't know, it bugs me every time I look at it. I'm like, why didn't I change this yet? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably do that some other time. Oh my God, this person's using defense boost five max. Or not five, not max, Ugh, five as well. I hate fighting against those because I mean, like, what I gotta say, like, one thing I gotta say, which is uh, that I kind of enjoy about the fact that Defense Boost 4 Max is out now, is that the gap between people who are using DB3 Max and DB5 uh, together, because uh, it's it's usually kind of like RNG ish whenever I have to fight against those type of people, uh, it's a lot closer now in terms of battles. I don't have, like, the aren't I don't have to rely on RNG as much. Uh, and that's, and I should just probably disclaimer, that's just being in like the, the more top rankings, I should say. Because uh, I know my medals alone are really good uh, for like top tier type stuff. Uh, I don't have extra attack on every single thing, but the I know my status ailments alone uh, help out quite a bit too. Um, it's just a matter of the fact that like just the, the RNG of the DB5 to me, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. That's just a personal preference, though. I'm not saying that you guys don't have to do that. Uh, it's just something for me personally. I know a lot of people, and I, I, I noticed this quite a bit, and I'm using a Cena right here. But a lot of people, though, I, I don't understand it. Um, I know a lot of people don't enjoy PvP, but they'll keep their attacking setup um, for their last try when they actually do things. And I don't, I don't understand. Like, like I don't know. To me, it makes sense. Like, attacking wise, I understand it because you're gonna do exactly what I'm doing here, which is where you're trying to get rid of Suna turn two, like what I'm doing. And then turn three, you're going to inflict status ailments again, so that way it can make them skip medals. However, it doesn't work that way when defending, because of the fact that you go second when you're on round three, defending. Uh, so when you're defending, on the last try, I like to swap my Keyblades, so that way my status ailments are within the first two Keyblades, and not on the third. If it's on the third, that's fine, but it has to be at the very least within my first two Keyblades to make sure that the status ailments actually work properly when when, it, when defending. Um, I think I just automatically won that one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. They might, they might make it. No, I don't think they're going to come back. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> So close. The poison, the poison helped out a little bit, but they came close to beating me. That was, that was, that was fairly close. All right. So this is the third battle, and we're actually, uh, we're starting to reach the the area now where I'm pretty much fighting all of like the ridiculously strong people that I'm pretty much pretty sure I'm gonna, you're gonna see a large amount of string of losses from this point onwards. So we're gonna go ahead and fight Karen. Uh, like I said before, my average is probably around the 21 area. So anybody above that is. I'm probably going to struggle against and such, unless they just massively royally mess up or something, but we're going to go ahead and fight Karen. All right, Karen. So, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, or maybe not so much the opinion, from what, uh, from what I can tell, uh, the Starlight is definitely one of the best Keyblades for the PvP right now. 
Uh, that's where a lot of the point, just because the fact, like, out of the three, unless you have, like, a seven-star illustrated invisible as of right now to, as well as a seven-star Lexius Plus, uh, to use the Stroke of Midnight, um, as of right now, the Starlight's more realistically going to be the strongest, or more consistently, uh, stronger, Keyblade that you're probably gonna end up seeing right now for this week. Um, the like I said before, the top top notch uh, setups are probably gonna be using like Stroke of Midnight just because of those two monsters I just noticed. Heck, if you even got the uh, a seven star Lexius Plus, no, not Lexius Plus, uh, Syax Plus, and a seven star Illustrated Invisible, you're just a you're just a monster. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> oh, they barely beat me. Well, not barely, but you know they beat me. All right, round two. Let's see how this goes. So one of the things that I would probably much do at this point is that uh, once I start reaching like the top 500 area and stuff, I normally start putting my weakest Keyblade uh, round one, uh, j which would usually end up being my turtle strategy, uh, my turtling setup, and I might end up having to do that, not turtling, but put my weakest setup uh, first round uh, for my next battle is because of the fact that once you start reaching the like higher tiers and such, a lot of people will put their best Keyblade uh, round one. So what I will do is I'll actually put my weakest Keyblade round one uh, because of the fact that I I already know I'm pretty much going to lose against any of my Keyblades, so I might as well use have my uh, weakest Keyblade throw. Uh, and since my weakest Keyblade right now has uh, status ailments, let me use my number right here. I'm pretty sure I already lost anyway, but... Um, but because of my fact that my weakest Keyblade has the extra attack uh, triple threat status ailments, I can help get rid of the Asuna turn one. Um, just in case. And then turn two, I can put my strongest Keyblade, which would be my Starlight. And then round three, I can use my Stroke of Midnight. The only unfortunate side to this, though, uh, is because of the fact that I would be using my Fairy Stars first. That means that my Suna would kick in. I mean, I would get rid of the Suna, but at the same time, I, I will be wasting uh, my boosters round one as well. So I won't have the, uh, I won't have the benefit of the boosters round three, uh, which is the only drawback, and it's kind of a major drawback. It kind of depends on how things turn out. It's an, and that just kind of goes in with PvP itself. That it, PvP itself is just kind of one massive rock paper scissors. <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and try this out and just see how it goes for the next round. Um, hopefully, it turns out a little bit better, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fight the Kami-sama at 107th place. Good luck. Have fun, Kami-sama. All right, so you can see right there on the left-hand side, I, I pretty much wasted my... Yeah, I, 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 right here, I wasted both of my, uh, all my boosters already. Uh, and that's that's the drawback that I, I, I was trying to say. Um, is that, yeah, this is my weakest Keyblade, I can get rid of there sooner, but I'm wasting my boosters. This is why I typically like to use sleep only uh, on my Keyblade setups, because one, as an attacker, uh, not only does it, if when the sleep goes off, uh, it gets rid of their Asuna before they can even use any metal. So even if they have like the Kyrie EX Plus like you just saw, uh, the Asuna goes off first anyways before they can actually use the Kyrie EX Plus. So the Kyrie EX Plus doesn't matter. Uh, as well as the fact that when you're defending as well, um, the Asuna will kick in at the end of the round at the very least. So even if you're going second and you flick them with sleep, uh, the opponent's Asuna will still kick in at the end of the round of round one. So that's why I typically like to use sleep, or at least that's the reason why I like to use sleep. Um, as well as the fact that it also helps me be able to save my paralysis uh, booster for other rounds if I wish to do so. Partially due to the fact that, you know, I have two sleep boosters, but I only have one paralysis booster. So it kind of depends on the setups that I have every week and such um, and what I'm trying to go for. But I lost round one, uh, which is to be expected. So this round, this this is going to be, uh, this is going to be the the interesting round, whether or not I can actually make it. Let's see. Okay, so they got almost. Th I could possibly beat this, possibly. Uh, 
Oh no, I I'm probably gonna lose. They have defense boost five, so I'm probably gonna lose. Um, if they didn't have the defense boost five, I probably could have made it to the 33 million, but I don't think I'm gonna make it at this point. Like, there's no even point in even using my Nova right now. Like I said before, I'm, I'm facing the top. I'm facing the top tier people at this point. At this point in time, so uh, it's. And, and they're most likely going to have more medals with extra attack and stuff than I can keep up with. So there's only so much I can do. All right. So our next. Oh my God. Kamisama is here. Okay. No. All right. So our next opponent is actually going to be Ezio with an average of 24. Uh, I'm probably going to lose to you as well, but why not? <laughs> um, but kind of going along with what I was saying before. If I. I definitely know. Part of what's holding me back against these top tier people as well is the fact that I that I still have to do a lot of my setup um, with the verse within the first three like slots of my key blades. So you could like for example like I have my uh, my key art 17 and stuff to be able to provide the upright defense down. Um, I'm lucky that my stained glass uh, number five has extra attack, but most of my stained glasses don't have that. So a large part of my setups do involve me still setting up a lot of these uh, buffs and debuffs that I need for, you know, to do significant damage. Whereas a lot of people, the top tier people that I'm fighting have the Kyrie EX Plus, so they can, go, they can go straight damage medals if they really want to. Um, so that's part of what's holding me back personally. Uh, but the fact that I can still get top 500 without a Kyrie EX Plus can, says a lot of things. Uh, they can, like, and that's kind of going along with what I was saying way back before. Like, you don't need a Kyrie Car EX Plus. Uh, it, 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 obviously, it's nice to have one, but you don't need to have it. Um, I could probably say, though, like, if whenever I happen to get one, uh, it, it will definitely change up my game quite a bit, at least in PvP. For the rest of the game, maybe not so much, but in PvP, it will definitely help me out quite a lot, because then, then those extra two slots that I'm spending... Uh, still trying to set up and such, depending on the Keyblade, of course, uh, I can actually use for pure damage medals, just for more pure damage medals, uh, which will obviously give me a lot more significant damage and such. But for now, like, I'm honestly pretty cool. I'm honestly okay. I have no problems not having Carry X Plus. Uh, ooh, I might actually be able to beat this person. Let's see. The yeah, defense boost five. Uh... Even with the defense boost 5, I think I might be able to still get past them. I think I might be able to still get past the 20, 21 mil. Let me go ahead and use my over here, just in case. Yeah, I'm going to different one. And yeah, th th this this battle right here is a pretty pretty good example of what I mean. Like The defense boost 4 definitely helps out a lot in like making cl closing the gap quite a lot between people using DB. 3 max and 5, uh, between just using DB3 max, which I was using. So, using DB4 max definitely helps out a lot right now. Makes me curious if they're ever gonna release DB6 anytime soon. I feel like DB5 was pretty recent, so I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Oh, rip. See, and this is this is the this is the consequences that I was talking about because of the fact I got rid of all my boosters and stuff round one, uh, they're not here to help out round three. So that's that's the drawback for this. Uh, so it's like, uh, and, and that just goes into the whole rock paper scissors aspect of the of the mode. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this round. Yeah, no, I already lost. They already passed me. Yeah. So it's either like I can lose with my best setup round one, but get the Asuna Alf round two, uh, and hope that their weak keyblade loses against my weak keyblade. But it's it's a bit of a toss up. All right, so Iffy, you are my next opponent. Actually, never mind. I'm not gonna fight you, Iffy. <laughs> Your average is a little too high. I already know. I'm gonna fight Ken over here at 23. Uh, just because of the fact your average is a little bit more closer to mine, I'm still, I, chances are I'm probably going to still lose, but whatever. <laughs> I just want to fight someone who's more along my level. Or more likely to be more on le my level, I should say. But triple threat went off.
Quite honestly, though, uh, because of the fact I'm using my weakest Keyblade first, uh, and I'm pr and like I mentioned before, uh, the weak like your weakest Keyblade is more likely to to lose the higher up in the rankings you go. Realistically, I can just use a turtle setup right here uh, in round one, and that would most like that that would honestly probably do me more good than having my damage setup right here. Uh, that's also a reason why I'm using my why I like turtling so much and such, because uh, at the very least. Uh, I mean, it's not going to work for attacking. Uh, I might as well make it work for defending. Um, so I can use a turtling setup right here so that when people fight me, uh, at the very least, my, my defense buffs will carry over into the second round. And I'm also using status elements. So I can make him skip medals on top of having defense buffs round two at the very least to help guarantee that win. And then round three, uh, I'm hoping they're not using status elements and I can go for more of a pure damage contest. <laughs> that would be the hope. Uh, but like against the top tiers, uh, that's pretty much the like one of the main uh, strategies that like I would have to rely on in order to get past anybody in these type of like situations and such. So I might actually I might actually switch to something like that uh, after this battle. Actually, round one won the uh, actually won. Round one though, which is a bit of a surprise to be honest. Uh, this person is using just DD4 max. I'm actually kind of curious how much damage. This person did 43 million damage to me. I don't think I'm gonna get past that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother using my Nova. Cause they did, like with the defense boot four max on myself as well to get 43 million, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. All right. So right here, like even even though I got triple threat off, uh, we, like I mentioned before, we we used, we used the boosters round one. So I'm not I'm not expecting anything to get skipped. It's it's kind of RNG at this point if anything gets skipped uh, in this case. Oh, uh, oh I should have used my Nova a long too late. Let's see how this does. Oh no, I think I lost. Yeah, no, I lost. Rip. Yeah, even with the poison, I lost. That's fine. Oh well, good game, Ken. Good job, Supreme Commander. All right, so now I have switched things up a bit. I have made my first setup a turtle setup uh, with metals using sleep to give her the Asuna, uh, as well as well as when defending. Uh, to help provide some defensive buffs uh, to carry over as well. It also kind of helps for attacking uh, solely because of the fact I'm using key art number 12, which provides uh, two strength, uh, general strength buffs, and it also has extra attack. So uh, I'm actually casting it five times uh, with HD Vanitas, who has extra attack, and then another copy metal. So I'm getting plus seven general strength here to carry over to the next turn. Uh, this can actually be useful attacking wise, assuming they're not using something like uh, Vexen Plus or Zexion Plus or something to get rid of it. So in the case, you know, just in case they actually do end up uh, making me skip medals by chance, ma I can actually pick that up a little bit with my like uh, illustrated axle here, which will bring up at least power. Uh, so it's not a complete loss. Now it'll hurt my starlight because of it a bit because of the fact it does, I am using like all three attributes here. <laughs> I kind of need the Kyrie, but uh, it would at least help out a little bit. So Kira number 12 is actually really honestly one of the best turtle medals in terms of PVP. I, I like, I love it so much. And it also dispels the opponent, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can get rid of their Asuna, turn one with just sleep, and then we can actually use Paralysis round three to make them skip medals. So we're actually going to fight Karen again this time <laughs> and see how this goes uh, now that we swapped out my setup and such. So Karen, 105th place, uh, average is 23. Let's go ahead and fight you. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, let me turn on auto. All right, so we're running turtle lane. I'm, I'm never expecting my fairy starts to actually ever 
uh, win battles just because it is my weakest setup. Uh, it's just going to more likely consistently lose uh, in general. So might as well use my turn. And there we go. So we got the sleep and the sleep boost to go off. So now we can at least get rid of their Asuna. There it is at the very beginning before they can even use their metal. And, and we basically threw this round. So I, I honestly don't care that we lose this round. What's, what's going to end up mattering is round two. That's where gonna things are going to start mattering. Yeah, chances are... Yeah, no. I, I probably... Even, even if I used my strongest setup here, Starlight Ice, I would have lost this round anyway, so... It wasn't a, like, and this is exactly what I mean, that in the higher tiers, uh, I, I, I'm kind of forced to start using these type of strategies. Like, once you start reaching your limit, that's when you can start doing stuff like that, basically. Ooh, Illustrated Invisible. And Scar, <laughs> okay. I don't know if that, I think that one's a seven star. I don't, ew, I think I lost this one. Yeah, no, I lost this one already. Yeah, no, I already lost. There's nothing I could have done about that. Even my like, uh, like I only, I can only get around maybe like 3,300, 3,300 mil, like around that area at most. Uh, and that's that's if they use like DB3 max alone. Um, and this guy even has like boost five on him. Like, I, I'm not gonna be able to catch up. So. It was worth a shot. I was gonna lose against Karen regardless, <laughs> basically, because she just, just she just significantly out damages me. All right, three more battles left until the end of the video, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and fight Lou over here, who's in ninth third place with an average of twenty three, and we're gonna go ahead and fight you, Lou. There was someone underneath him that I probably might have had a chance of uh, realistically beating. But just because of the fact you're under uh, top 100, you're within top 100, I'm, I'm going to start gunning for you. Ooh, are we, okay, there we go. We got it off. Barely got it off. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, huh? But we got this, you know, which is nice. Oh, actually, yeah, no, matter. I keep forgetting that I still have only DB3 Max on my uh, Key Art 12. I don't have four Max on it yet, but that doesn't matter because we're throwing this round anyway. So that's a, that's totally okay. All right, this round right here. This is the, gonna be the round that matters. Um, hopefully they don't get too high. Oh, they're using seven Max too. Using Ventus. Interesting. Oh my god, all the extra attack. I swear to god, this axe was gonna have it too. Oh, it didn't. Oh, okay, alright. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Can you not? I, I'm, I think I lost this one. Yeah, no, I lost. This is ridiculous. This is just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Lou, Lou, you are disgusting. <laughs> Good game though. All right, good job, Lou. Let's, uh, we got two more battles left. Let's see how that goes. 
All right, so my second to last battle, we're actually going to go ahead and fight Luca over here in 89th place with an average of 23. Uh, good luck, Luca. Have fun, even though I know you're not playing against me exactly. It's just a robot, but whatever. Good luck, have fun. All right, let's see how this goes. Round one's a throw, anyway, so. It doesn't matter how high they get. Keep in mind, too, I, I only have DB3 max on this first setup, so their score is probably higher than what it would normally be against uh, DB4 max. Okay, we got the Suna off, though, which is good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wouldn't even need to have DB4 Max on this to know I would have lost this round anyways. The amount of extra attack is just ridiculous. Like, even if you cut that in half, I, like, I probably still would have struggled a little bit. Okay, let's see how far they get this round. Great, they have extra attack. This is disgusting. This is just disgusting. I, I I already lost. They yeah no I I can't go my, I can't go that high on my on my starlight. I can only go around maybe like 33, 34 mil at most. Let alone 41 mil. So good job, Luca. Congrats. You have a Really strong setup. Ooh. All right, so since this is my last try, I'm gonna go ahead and do some rearranging. We're gonna go ahead and keep the fairy stars uh, for round one, but my, I'm actually gonna swap my stroke of midnight for round two, just because of the fact it has my uh, my triple threats right there, so that way I can get my uh, paralysis booster at the very least to go off and make him skip a couple medals. Um, and hopefully that will that will be enough to give me some wins. On top of the fact that like I'm skipping their medals, I'm getting defensive buffs. Uh, from my key art number 12 over here. Uh, not like on top of my Zexion plus as well. So I'll have max uh, turtle buffs. Top and making them skip two medals. And they'll even have uh, some strength debuffs as well. So this is what I'm going to be going for right here. I'm going to have my Starlight last. Uh, and hopefully they don't have status ailments round three. Uh, I know a lot of people haven't really been using status ailments nearly as much. Although I still see people every once in a while who still do it, like myself. But this is what I'm going to go with. And let's see who we can fight. Alright, so... Oh, no, I'm not going to fight Kamisawa again. <laughs> Actually, okay. Kianos, Kianos at 138th place. At an average of around 22.5. We're going to go ahead and fight you. Kinos. Good luck, have fun. All mining Luna Diviner. Interesting. Interesting title. Alright. So, because of the fact that this is my last try and I have uh, rearranged my Keyblade setup for defense, I am not trying to win this. Uh, this match at all whatsoever it's just more of a fact like if i win okay cool that's that's awesome uh but i'm not trying to win i'm just merely using this battle uh to have the game re record my defensive setup so that when people fight me uh they can't get past me basically so i'm not expecting to win
So I'm pretty sure I lost. Pretty sure I lost this round. I wasn't expecting a win, like I mentioned before, but <laughs> you never know. If I uh, if I got like right there, for example, this is what I mean. Like if I had hit their DB3 max instead of DB, their DB5, I might have gotten enough points to beat them. Anyways, that was it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. I upload PvP videos every single day. So if you have comments, go ahead and leave some comments down in the description down below. I'll take a look at it. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.